Here's a one-two. And there's a fly on, ball, deep on. right field, back there. We welcome you to Los Angeles. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. John Shabby, Chris Singleton with you. And Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year, Juan Soto. He, of course, leads their team in home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. First pitch coming your way next. One down. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Curtis Elliott, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. On the ground, right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Sometimes where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Got him looking. Here's a one-two. And there's a fly on, ball, deep on. right field, back there. And out of here! Homer number 25 of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 6-2. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension. 2-2 two -two now. And now it's filled up. Here we go, baby. Find a good pitch. The 3-2 okay. is That's off good. the outside edge, and that is ball four. That one hit to right. Soto moving under this one. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does. Just a joy to watch. Perez makes the catch, and that'll do it. The inning. On the ground, left side. Six, four. Three, and that's the ball game. A little sigh of relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for these guys today. Final score here today, 10-3. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. And second baseman. On the ground to first. Could be two. To second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. On one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And the next pitch is way outside. And that's no. ball four. Ground ball right side gathers and throws to first that ends the frame two outs nobody on and up next for Los Angeles Curtis Elliott he reached out a walk his first time pretty amazing athlete this guy is power and speed quite a threat I mean you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep Bo Jackson anyone 
That one back up the middle and it gets through. Two outs, runner at first. Next to hit, Austin Riley. Here's the pitch, run around the goal. Ball outside, safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. Two on, two outs. Got him. And that is the inning. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Thomas pulls it down, and there's one down. Find a way to throw a quality strike. Liner snagged it first. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. 3-2 the final score. From Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. Mother's Day action on the show. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Your side, nice job of laying off that pitch. Grounder might be two. Over to Correa for one. Back to first, double play. And that's it for the inning. Here's a speed threat, Curtis Elliott. 0 for 1 so far. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up making his way through the minor leagues and quickly at this level an impact player well struck right field and that one is out of here that fires up the home crowd and they add on it's six nothing What I love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get down through the ball to create backspin and hit it out of the ballpark. Really nice job. If he pops another one here. The one-two. The punch out there, and now two gone. It's a better feeling for the hitter. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Back here in L.A., bottom of the inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Curtis Elliott. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Allard back to work. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. And out of here. His 27th home run of the season, and they add a run. It's 13-0. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Nice sweep in this series, and you continue playing at home. Everything feels good right now. This is the type of run that you can put together a nice, long winning streak. We'll see if they're able to do it in the next game. And the final, 13-2. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. For the ball game, I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. You won. And that one got a piece of him. Fell in the box. He's seen that movie before. Up on the scoreboard. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
That's out number three. For his club to secure that win. Very fresh team today, and it doesn't have to be all on him, but the way he's been swinging it. I... Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That one felt good. His 28th home run of the season, and we're level. It's tied at one. With this guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Second, no outs. And now, Curtis Elliott. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. All right, we need you right now. Let's go. Let's go. Your pitch. And it goes just foul. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. On the ground, two ball. And that chance handled. Off balance feed, there's one. But no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. But he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses. Throw. Save. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data. Liner caught it second. And can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. This one in the air center field. That one's back. And it is gone. He crushes that one to center field. And now they're out in front. It's 4-1. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. Never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 4-3, our final score. Oh,